handful of questions, gay son or thought daughter. How many bodies do you have? What is your type? Like a fucking man. I don't fucking play the game, bitch. I love them dice. Reaching for my chain, you must not love your life. Hey, married to the money, you can't be my wife. I ain't talking about a zebra, I had to get my stripes. Snuck the pole inside the club, we ain't trying to fight. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Danny Angelo, a.k.a. Do it like Danny. And today, yo, does this video really even need an introduction? Like, you saw the thumbnail, you read the title. Yo, like, does it need an introduction? I'm asking y'all, does it? Um... Peep the haircut? Yo, all the guys know that 24 to 48 hours after you get a cut, bro, we have a feeling you invincible. Like, yo, I got my haircut yesterday and it got me feeling like. I'm about to take a lot of pics with this haircut. Bitch. I'm about bitch. to take a nigga bitch with this haircut. But hey, let me try to stay on topic for it though. Hey, as you guys already know, today we got a handful of questions. You guys asked me, yo, thank you so much for all the love you showed me in the first video, man. It really means the world to me. Thank you to everybody that asked questions for the Instagram. If your question is in this video, make sure, hey, like the video. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, but right quick, before we start, make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when I post. Yo, we've been over this before. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, share this with a friend if it made you laugh, made you smile. Real quick, if y'all wondering why I'm looking down, I got the questions on the laptop. I'm recording on my phone, so I couldn't really use that. Without further delay, let's get right into it. First question of the day. Who are your top three artists? Now, this is a good question. Um, to be honest, I feel like it'd be switching like every couple months. But um, as of right now, top three gotta be Drake. He's not two or three. Uh -huh. Rod Wave, and third, I'll probably say Lil Baby. The next question is, what are you mixed with? Now, for those of you that don't know, I am Brazilian and Haitian. Hey, shout out to all the Zos out there. If you Haitian, man, drop the flag in the comment section below. My dad is Haitian, my mom is Brazilian, and uh, they created me. On to the next question. What inspired you to do YouTube, and who is your favorite YouTuber? That's a good one. So we got a little two-in-one deal here. You know, I said ask one question, but you asked two. I'll let it slide. Um, what inspired me to do YouTube? So probably around like 13, 14 years old. I would always kind of just vlog, you know, throughout the day just for jokes and whatever. Uh, I never really took it serious, though, until a few days ago. But me and my boy Liam, hey, shout out to Liam, boy. Hey, I love you to death, boy. Girl, if you looking for Australia, six foot three, six four four. It is lying. I put this Instagram up right here so y'all can go check him out if you want. But yeah, anyway, so we went to the mall one day and I was just like joking around. I was like, yo, bro, we should make a YouTube video. He was like, that pulled out the camera. The video idea was going to be picking up girls in Brazil. And, um, well, that didn't really go too well. Um, roll the clip. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. 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 We got it. We got it. Right. We got it. I know what you're thinking. There ain't no way do it like Danny just got rejected like that. On camera too? It is what it is. 
yeah, that video didn't go too well. We'll probably do it again later on. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, so we didn't post that one. So we were talking. And I was like, yo, I really think I should take the YouTube thing serious. And he was like, yo, go for it, bro. Go for it. You should start today. I just started the day after. Recorded my first video. Edited it that same night and posted it. And that was the first video. And that's basically how I started YouTube. Who is your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber right now probably has to be Kyson Nat. No explanation needed. Probably just Kyson Nat. Can you explain to us why you are in Brazil and what exactly you're doing? Just really chasing my dreams of being a professional soccer player. That's probably it. The next question is, do you think you have what it takes to make it in YouTube? Um, yeah, I basically got a fire intro. Isn't that all you need? Like, hey, say it with me one time. Do it. Like. Danny. But, uh, yeah, I already got the fire intro down, so I don't know what else you could possibly need. Next question. Are you single? That really just depends who you're asking. Now, nah, let me stop playing. Um, yes, I'm currently single. And the reason for that is because having a girlfriend takes two things away from you, time and money. And I do not have either of those. So that is the reason I am single. On to the next question. Who is your celebrity crush? Okay, okay. Hey, I actually like this question. Um, My celebrity crush is Camila Mendez. If you don't know who she is, I'll pop up a picture right here or something. But bro, yo, I would marry her today. If I, bro, I would marry her today. Today. Right now. If, I, if she walked into this room right now, I would get down on my knee. Will you marry me? Have you ever met anyone famous? If not, who? Well, I think you guys know who I want to meet. Um, as I just mentioned earlier, the beautiful, the one, the only Camila Mendes. But I have not met anyone famous. Uh, the closest thing I've been to meeting someone famous was, I guess, I've been to like professional soccer games and I've seen like you know famous players, but I never met anyone. But yeah, on to the next question. The next question is, will you ever start an OnlyFans? That is a really odd question to ask, but um, no disrespect to anybody that does OnlyFans. You know, hey, you got to get your bread however you can. I'm going to try to say this as respectfully as possible. Hell no. Bruh, come on now. You should know me better than this. That was a stupid question. Yo, you just got me tired, bro. Next question. Next question is, where the hoes at? Hey, cut the music, bro. Yo, cut the music, cause now y'all getting me tight, bro. Hey, whoever asked this question, bro, you better be lucky. There's a screen between the four. Boy, you better be lucky. Yo, that's bad. Do you know who you just asked, bro? You just asked, do it, like, Danny. Where the hoes at? Bro, that's like asking a fish, where is the water? Whoever said there's no such thing as dumb questions clearly has not met you. Bro. Yo, bro, I don't even want to do this video no more, bro. I'm going to push through. No, I'm going to let it slide, bro. Next question. What is your type? I'm glad you asked. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Latinas, light skins. But, bro, the one thing about Latinas, bro... Most of them are toxic, but the day I meet a Latina that isn't toxic, I was old. Dark skins, Asians, dark hair, below the shoulder, I like long hair too, white girls. Hey, as long as you pretty and have a good personality, yo, yo. The next question is fame or money? Yo, I feel like this is an easy one. Like, who's not picking money? Um, if you just want to be famous and broke, you're kind of weird. Um, I don't know why would you, why you would even pick that. But yeah, I think, I think money is the, I think money is the only answer. Um, not that I'm obsessed with money in any type of way, but, but yo, who just wants to be like popular? That's kind of weird to me. Uh, next question. How do you get over a breakup? Hey, bro. Hey, we all been there before. Um, the one thing I can tell you, don't try to get revenge on the girl. Focus on yourself and let your success be the revenge. 
you all even know what I just said, but it sounded good though. Um, we gonna roll with it. Next question: How long do you train each day? At the academy I'm playing at, we got practices from nine to eleven. Monday through Friday, so that's two hours. And then me and my boy Liam, you know, I mentioned him earlier in the video. Me and him, we always do like extra work in the afternoon, normally around like 4 p.m. We either go practice by ourselves or get a gym workout in. Um, it really just depends on the day. I usually go gym every other day, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then our individual practices are probably like one and a half hours, so I would say anywhere between three to four hours every day. So three to four hours, Monday through Friday. Probably, and then we do we do like one hour on Saturday, just not really training, but just you know messing around and stuff with the ball. The next question is, can we be expecting soccer content? The short answer is no. And I'm gonna give yo, yo calm down, calm down. Let me explain why. If you were an athlete, you can relate to this. All day, every day, you just think about our sport. That's like all that's in our mind. So. It kind of gets like suffocating just being around your sport, especially now that I'm here in Brazil, bro. It's like everywhere. Um, so I just needed like something to uh, take my mind off it, I guess. The answer is no, I will not be posting soccer content, but I'll tell you guys what I'll make one video, I'll make one video soccer related day in the life of a teenager in the academy in Brazil, and that's the only video y'all get. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. The next question is, booty or tits? Hey, yo, chill. Mom, if you're watching this, you can always skip about like 20, 30 seconds, because I'm really going to get into this one. Now, all my guys know this is a heavy lunch table topic. This is probably what we talk about like 99 out of 100 days. Like, yo. It's a big, it's a big debate among the boys. This is a big debate in high school. You feel what I'm saying? Um, me personally, I'm a booty guy. Yo, if you got that, mm, if you got, ooh, you know what I'm talking. If you got, it, if you got that, got? Hit me up. Yo, just hit me up. Just hit me up. Just hit me up. Just send me a text. Slide my DM. Something. Next question. Do you want to play soccer in college? That's a good question. As I said before, I'm pursuing a professional career right now. So I'm hoping I'll be able to skip college and go straight to professional. But as of right now, no, I do not want to. But, you know, life changes every day. You never know what could happen. Maybe, maybe not. We'll just have to see. All right, so the next question is, gay son or thought daughter? This is another one of those lunch table debates. Um, yo, I'm just gonna have to go with thought daughter. Don't ask me why, I just do. The next question is, how's the soccer environment in Brazil different from the US? In America, I feel like soccer is just a hobby. It's not really like a way of life, but here it's everywhere bro i'm talking about everywhere kids drop out of school and i'm being dead serious they drop out of school like around ninth tenth grade to like you know try to become a professional and it's so competitive here like in the time i've been here i've been here for like three months i've seen so many good players like great players be rejected from this team alone now think about how many other academies there are and how many people yo long story short in brazil it's a way of life but i feel like in america it's just a hobby the next question is power or respect? I've never been the bossy type. I don't really feel like I need power. If I don't know you, I'ma still show you respect. And in return, I expect, you know, the same amount of respect. But um, the second you disrespect me, yeah, I don't really got much respect for you after that. Do you want any tattoos? I don't know if I'll get all the way tatted up or anything, but I'll probably get a few for sure. The next question is, what is the funniest moment from middle school? Nah, yo, I don't know if y'all can relate to this, but for me, middle school is probably the most funniest years of my life. It was really just vibes, man. The schoolwork was easy. The teachers were chill. Now, most of y'all probably know the funniest people are either mad short or they're just fat. And that's just the way it is. Now, my best friend at the time happened to be in the short category. So that made anything he did like 10 times more funny. 
anyway, so we're just chilling in the bathroom before school started. It's not sus. Don't think about it like that. We was just chilling in the bathroom. You feel what I'm saying? So he was trying to go into the stall, but it was locked. And he was knocking on it, but nobody was answering. So anyway, he decides to climb. <laughs> so he climbs under the stall, looks up. And it's just my geometry teacher's. The next question is, what is your favorite part about Brazil? <laughs> Yo, 100% hands down has to be the app. Yo, that last clip cut out. What I meant to say was my favorite part about Brazil is how friendly everyone is here. Like you can sit down to someone you don't even know, talk for two minutes. And it's like, this guy's your brother. You've known him your whole life. On to the next question. How many bodies do you have? <laughs> Mom, if you watching this, Nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Um, that ain't really none of your business, to be honest. I don't know why you were asking me a question like that. Um, yeah, that ain't even really none of your business. On to the next question, bro. Would you rather live in Brazil or America? Um, that's a hard, that's a hard question. The reason being is Brazil is so beautiful, bro, like... If you've never been here, please plan a trip to come here. Especially in Rio, bro. The sunsets every night, they're crazy. Um, but in America, it's just like, I feel like it's more safe there. Um, you know, obviously it's a first world country. It's a tough question, but if I had to choose one, I, I'll probably say America. Just because of the fact that, you know, I lived there most of my life and everything. And the last question of the day. When do you come back to America? Funny you ask. So as I said, I'm playing at an academy here. And at the end of August is when I find out if I'll be moving here permanently or moving back to the US to finish my senior year. But yeah, man, that's gonna wrap it up for the Q&A. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, we're on the road to 1K. Yo, I'm telling you, you know how cool it's gonna be? When in two to three years, when you know we about to hit one mil, and you talk to your homeboy, you like, hey, you know that boy, do it, like, then about to hit one mil, and you like, yeah, bro, I was there since 5k subscribers, and you hit him with the, I've been there before 1k, I was on the road to 1k with him, yo, you know how crazy that's gonna be, bro. So yeah, go ahead, sub up, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment, give me suggestions what y'all want to see next. Like I said, the next video will probably be a day in the life, but give me some ideas to do, some challenges. I um, still got to do a video with my boy Liam. Y'all going to see him soon, coming up. Don't worry about that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, it's your boy. Do it. Like. Danny. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.